Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo and today we're going to talk about how your Samsung phone just got way smarter overnight. Now here's the thing, a lot of Samsung phones back in the day was pre-installed with SwiftKey. Now SwiftKey has been bought out by Microsoft and Microsoft owns Bing, which Bing is basically in charge and Microsoft is in charge of ChatGPT. So no matter what application you open, as long as your keyboard is popping up, you will be able to have your AI assistant there ready to go, helping you with every single thing that you're doing. If it could be just regular text messages, if it's gonna be writing down notes, if you wanna be a little bit more creative and have a bunch of different ideas kind of flowing out, also, maybe if you wanted to go on Twitter and you wanted to write something, you'd be able to go inside of Bing. You can change your tone if you want to be more energetic, if you want to be more polite, maybe more professional. Also, too, if you write something out, you can go through an area where it'll throw in some emojis and also some hashtags for you. So there's a social aspect to it. Or if you want to make sure that you sound professional inside of an email. So again, anytime that you have your keyboard popping up in any application, you'll be able to use this. So all you'd have to do is go inside of the Play Store and you can and search for Microsoft SwiftKey Beta. Now, some of you may already have this on your phone and you didn't know, especially if your phone was pre-installed with SwiftKey. So how you're able to get this keyboard on your phone if you don't already have it pre-installed is gonna be just going inside of the Play Store. You just wanna search for Microsoft SwiftKey Beta Keyboard. You'll find it right away. You get it installed. You give it the one permission for you to basically use it. And then it's gonna pop up on the very bottom. So in order for this thing to show up, you wanna first pop up your keyboard. And if it's already sitting on Samsung keyboard, which is what a lot of people use, you know, this is what I was using beforehand. Once you get it installed, you tap on this keyboard, you go to Microsoft SwiftKey Beta, and then now you have your Bing icon. Now to make yourself sound a little bit more, let's say professional, you can go over into tone. Now before we go there, I just wanna do a really fast search just to kind of show you what this kind of looks like. So let's just say that we search for the word exercise. So there's gonna be a bunch of things that will be able to pop up. I can also look for images of exercise. So if this was something more particular and this was in you know part of your little conversation that you're having, you tap on it, boom, it brings it right back up, you know, into your conversation. So this way, you know, if you found an article that is exactly what they were looking for, you don't have to get out of the application. You already found it and now you're sending it. So let's just go through one and, and let's just try to make it sound a little bit more professional. Let's see, we'll just say this uh looks good to me so we'll just do that so i'm going to hit on this little arrow over here and then what's going to happen is it's going to give me a bunch of different tones it's going to be like polite professional uh, casual whatever it may be so if you want to sound smart <laughs> or professional instead of you just writing what you may write right here which is this looks good to me you can say i find this to be satisfactory uh, so you can bring that right up or you say this looks good to me, which is casual. So basically I write casual uh, polite. I think this looks great. So this is another one I could definitely use social post. This is looking good. So, you know, on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And there you go. You got like a little emoji. So you have four different options that you can choose and you can see the ones, you know, on the very bottom, social post, casual, professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into polite and I think this looks great. I'm just going to paste it, you know, right up on the very top and that's it. So if you actually wrote something much longer, it will do that for you as well. Oh, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this content, you love this video, if you find it to be helpful, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button because YouTube Analytics is letting me know that only 24% of you watching this video right now are subscribed, which means a massive 76% of you are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now let's take this into maybe another direction. Let's say you're inside of a text message. So again, you want to you know, tap on that little Bing icon. You want to tap on, on tone. And so maybe you're not the best person to maybe try to break up with somebody. You're, you're never really you know, coming off with something that is uh, polite to say. So you can just say something like, uh, you know, let's break up, uh, see other, see other, people. All right. So now let's see what it has for different tones. Now, again, this will help, you know, if you're in an argument with somebody, maybe you're trying to break up with somebody, maybe you're trying to be smooth and suave with somebody. Maybe you're just trying to be funny with somebody quirky, whatever it may be, you can have a different tone for what you're saying. So what I wrote is let's break up, see other people professionally, it, it, you know, to sound better. I think it's best if we had, if we end our relationship and start seeing other people. Uh, if you wanted to see the casual, 
hey, let's call it quits and see other people. That sounds cooler than me. Uh, polite. I'm sorry, but I think it's time for us to go our separate ways and see other people. Uh, social post. It's time to move on. Let's break up and see other people. Okay. So that's definitely more of like a social post thing. This polite one is perfect. You'd be able to bring it right up over there and that's it. So you can put it into the conversation at that moment just by hitting on, you know, accept or you'd be able to copy this. So if you're just coming down with a bunch of different ideas, if it's in text messaging or notes and you're just writing a few things, you want to see what it pops up with, then you can go and you can copy it and then you can save it and put it somewhere else. So it's, it's, it's just one of those things that, you know, it definitely helps out. Uh, and then when you're finished, you just basically hit on back. Now to show you the very last one over here, which is going to be, you know, really the full running chat GPT sitting over here and I can put it over inside of more creative. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste it just to kind of help this video go quicker. So normally what I, what I had in here was a couple ideas of titles, you know, the most powerful keyboard assisted by AI, but I wanted to see if there was other better titles. I think this is the one that I'm going to go with anyways, but I'm going to give it a prompt and give it, uh, you know, give me five examples of a better YouTube title and limited to 60 characters, then the most powerful keyboard assisted by AI. So all I'm going to do is this, I'm going to go right up over here. I'm going to copy. And then what I'm going to do is go inside of over here, the chat GPT. I'm going to go inside of more creative and then really just, uh, you know, paste it on inside of there. And then I'm going to hit on send. So this is going to give me five examples of what it thinks it could have, you know, maybe some better titles. Because again, with YouTube, it's all about clickability. So here are a few different titles. Uh, how AI boosts your keyboard skills. AI keyboard, the ultimate power tool. The keyboard that learns from you. Meet the smartest keyboard ever. How to type faster and better with AI. So some of these are completely different than what I had written down. The one that I kind of like from some of these ones here is meet the smartest keyboard alive. So what I kind of had written down you know, from beforehand was the most powerful keyboard assisted by AI. That's a pretty good clickable title. This one right here is a little bit more open, broad, but also very accurate and not, you know, it's not clickbaity and it's 100% accurate. Your Samsung just got way smarter. So I'm going to probably go with this one. What I could do is just copy and paste this inside of this prompt just to see if maybe there's a better way of saying this. But again, um, I'm going to go with this one just because from my gut, I think it's pretty great. So now how you're able to get this keyboard and make sure you get the correct one is when you go inside of the Play Store. You don't only want to just search for Swift Key because that will show you something different. This is just the regular Microsoft Swift Key. The one that you want to find is the one that's Swift Key Beta, which is right here with that little beta icon, Microsoft Swift Key Beta. And then once you have that one installed, then you're able to go inside of pretty much anything uh, you'd be able to tap on that little keyboard on the bottom, you tap on it, so this way you'd be able to get it activated. So with the, all these icons right here, you can move them around, change them around. So I have my keyboard here, or uh, the, the clipboard, I got the GIFs, I've got my emojis, the settings. You can also learn more from your Swift key as well. If you tap over here, this is a way that you're able to view more things. So if you want to go inside of your to-do list, you can create more to-do lists. You can create reminders again, just all right through here. And so because this is, you know, made by Microsoft, you'll be able to have the Microsoft to-do list. You can also have your stickers, your voice typing translator. You can change your themes. You can resize it, go inside of incognito. Uh, you also have different modes, autocorrect on or off, and then your account on the bottom. You can rearrange these, move these around. So if you wanted to put your to-do list up on the very top, uh, all you'd have to do is hit on reorder items. You press and hold on to do, and then you bring it up, but it will bring down one of the other. So I'm going to put my to-do list on the very left so I can find it easy because I like my settings on the top. So as you customize everything over there, you just hit on done. And then if you go through the settings, you can change things with the keyboard and the numbers and such like that, because on my keyboard originally there was no numbers, but I had to add in the number line and you can just do that simply through the settings icon. And you just have to get used to a brand new keyboard. It's very, very similar from before, but when you go inside of, you know, some of these little icons here, some of them are moved around like the, the question mark and the exclamation point, but you can learn that very, very quickly. And you can also see the keyboard operates a little bit different as well too. So it, it actually deletes a word at a time rather than the whole cursor running at the whole time. But yeah, so this is very fun. It got your phone super smart, way smarter overnight. You can use this tool, this AI with you through every single application that has a keyboard that pops up. It's all free. You just download the correct one as you've seen in this video. You get it activated and then you just start running and basically you have all three of your tools sitting right here. Your search, uh, your tone, your chat, and don't forget the ones below here like your to-do list and then also a few others. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,